one of the things I always start to start off with is, uh, you know, living a clean lifestyle. Um, it's probably one of the easier things to do. Uh, so if you uh, have access to and can afford it, um, I highly recommend our, an organic diet. As I mentioned, there are a number of studies now showing different pesticides have a, a significant detrimental impact to, to mitochondria. Um, you know, eliminating all the artificial junk in our diet um, would also help. There was, this, there was a study that showed, uh, in particular, this one artificial blue color mm -hmm. uh, had, a, had a negative impact to mitochondria. Um, thankfully, in North America, that, that particular blue color is banned, but it's still used um, in, in large quantities in other parts of the world uh, where it's, uh, in, you, you can find it in candy, uh, you can find it in, you know, those... Um, the, the, the shave gels, for some reason, they're, they're always colored blue. I don't, I'm not too yeah. sure why. Uh, but these are, these are the, the, the sources of that particular blue color. So, um, and then there are other situations or other toxins that are a little bit more difficult to avoid. So um, as an example, um, particulate matter, or something called uh, PM10 or um, fine per, um, air pollution, uh, particulate matter and air pollution, that has also been shown to have a negative impact to, to mitochondria. Although, depending on where you live, it might not be as easy to kind of uh, avoid that. But in general, live a clean lifestyle. Um, then the next thing, and, and this is probably the, the biggest take home message that I always uh, mention uh, when, whenever I talk about mitochondria is physical activity. Um, and, and if I can kind of send everyone home with one message, uh, being physically active is probably the greatest thing you can do for, for mitochondria health. Um, not only uh, is being physically active allowing you to use up that, um, that energy that your body creates so that you're not creating this backlog of energy and creating free radicals, but in that process, you actually build capacity. Uh, so what, what I mean is that when you, when you create this demand for energy, what ends up happening is that the body thinks, oh, well, you know what, I don't have enough energy to, to meet this demand. So what it does is it start, uh, its mitochondria start to divide. Uh, and again, more mitochondria you have, the more energy it can produce. Uh, the benefit to that is that the next time you go out and exercise, you now have uh, that workload being shared amongst a greater number of mitochondria. So each individual mitochondria is under less metabolic stress and spilling less free radical. Um, what that also means though, is that at rest, uh, which is the vast majority of our, our, our life, uh, even for an elite athlete, you know, you look at 24 hours of their day, they're still probably at rest the majority of the time. Um, during that time, there are far fewer free radicals being generated. So, you know, you take that over a course of a lifetime, uh, you're, you're really minimizing the free radical damage that, that happens.